Hi everyone, it's Marian here. So in this uh, movie I want to tell, tell you about uh, a new topic on my movies. Why? Why I bought Dodge Intrepid. Um, so back in, uh, in 2001 when we arrived here we didn't know a lot about uh, US cars or North American cars. So I had some friends here. Um, one of them, they um, recommend me because they had Dodge Intrepid. Another family, they recommend me Nissan Sentra. So my friends, uh, they had first generation. They had a 3.5 liters engine and uh, we meet them here they took us with them on a few trips and uh, we was very impressed by how big is the car and how nice it's thing and how comfortable it's on the road i didn't like from the beginning the fact it was noisy inside especially the wind and the sound of the wheels on the road it was very pronounced so um, at the beginning I was pretty skeptical with uh, how much gas is gonna take I saw it's not very thirsty but I was uh, hesitating so uh, as I told you I have friends who recommend me this car Nissan Sentra the engine went 5.6 four cylinder uh, they were they had a, a car like that and they was very satisfied not by the car performance but by the by the car's reliability and the fact they use it a lot and didn't ask too much maintenance and very expensive maintenance so uh, when I came from Europe here I was pretty well accommodated with, with what was saying what was selling there uh, the, the European compart companies car companies but I loved a lot these Jeeps and I loved a lot the Crown Victoria which could be seen very easy in almost all American movies especially uh, those with policemen's so but this car uh, I was a little afraid about the fact it was rear wheel drive I didn't have too much experience on the as a driver so <coughs> I didn't prefer to take a car like that rather one like this a Jeep uh, with a high ground clearance um, I didn't love from this car um, the interior uh, um, especially when the car was uh, with the speed selector on the column driving column I loved more the way it was looking uh, this car with gear selector here between two seats so when I saw these cars I didn't like them too much. Why? Because they are flat, almost. They are was long and wide, and seems to be like a cake. So, but when I, uh, my friends took me with them and uh, we saw how it's staying on the road, we loved it. We loved the car, and I was looking for an Intrepid or a. Nissan Sentra I found two about the same price uh, the Nissan is probably at least from the pictures uh, if I remember well on that site uh, it was looking better than the Chrysler but my wife didn't want a car so small me too I loved how big it is the Dodge the Chrysler Intrepid so uh, 
I went on Chrysler hand end. We kept the car five years. Uh, all the story about how much it cost me the the car uh, is on the movie I put there. Uh, the true owner cost. So um, that was the the main the main reason for I bought it. It was an influence from friends. They was very satisfied by their car. So uh, after we bought the car, I saw I started to have some problem with the transmission. I didn't have to open it. I just uh, replaced the oil uh, and the filter, but didn't stop the problems. And with those problems, uh, I had all the time five years and I sold it. The car didn't stop at all from because of that. It was running. I had a sensor, a crank sensor, but uh, that crank sensor was different story. Even if I, after I replaced it, the symptom was the same. The car didn't change the speed, uh, the next speed uh, as soon as it was, I was used to, to see it. So, um, in short, this was the story. And um, probably, probably I, it was a better choice to go on from Ford Crown Victoria or on a Jeep like this, or to check for a Chevy Lumina like that, which I hear that was pretty good, or um, this Impala. But uh, I didn't know too much about the cars at that time. I, have s I had some friends in Toronto. They came with us in the same period and they bought this car, Chevy Corsica, uh, with the same kind of um, configuration here. Uh, it was like um, hatchback. It wasn't like this. So this one is was mo it was much more practical and my friends they kept the car I don't know many years and uh, with the transmission they had no problem at all as I had they had a different kind of problems but their car was pretty pretty well uh, uh, decent car so I choose to go on Dodge I choose to go on intrepid I loved a lot the next generation uh, which appeared in uh, 1998 and after till 2003 but um, being done the fact I had some troubles with my transmission I was pretty afraid to buy um, again a, a Chrysler and it was a kind of uh, I love to hate you so the car was nice but it was always a but it could show you uh, some uh, little surprises and um, for that reason I didn't uh, choose to go again and on Chrysler for a while I don't know uh, I think even now if I go back I go back only on Jeep products and um, preferably or Grand Cherokee or a Wrangler but that's all I I had the courage now to buy from this company so thank you for watching and um, I I hope uh, you like what I told you and uh, it's going to follow uh, the same movie, the same thematics about why I choose to buy next cars. I'm going to tell you a little story about each of it. So thank you. Goodbye, everyone.